Here we go, Multilibre 94 is back with another episode of the full playthrough of Gerda, Flaming Winter. I can't wait to go forward. Uh, I already seen last episode where I'm, where I'm heading to. And it's still not the scary part. The scary part is gonna be after, I think. Because uh, I think that the England Inn is like burned out for me. Like I can't go there. There's everyone there I don't want to say that hates me but now they don't trust me anymore and it's gonna be a problem I don't know if they want to see me after what I did with the Nazi dude and the penicillin you know all of the others but yeah <laughs> with Anders went okay I guess at least but yeah enough talking let's see what happens then we talk so let me change the camera real quick and let's jump right into some Gerda, a flaming winter action. Woo. Let's go. Let's go, Gerda. We're digging through it. It's our times, you know. Sunday, February 4, 1945, 8 a.m. And still, we are doing it. Okay. Pastor Jacob sure. will be presiding over the Sunday service. I need to catch him alone and ask him about Mr. Vestergaard. Yeah. Now, Pastor, J Pastor Jacob, how is he gonna react? This is already bad, like, the penicillin. Well, let's go. I'm scared, a little bit, not because Pastor Jacob is scary, but how he's gonna treat me after what I did, but what I did, I did for a reason, whoa, cool church, wow, this place is so cool, bells are ringing, huh, well, yes, Sunday service must be over, good, I need to find Pastor Jacob. If there is anyone in town who can help me find leads on how to help hunters, it's him. Well, let's go then. Oh, among the graves. There's so many people and I think I can interact with them. I don't know if all of them, but a lot of them. Among the graves, I needed to acquire more leads on how I could free hunters. My first thought was, dear Jacob, the town gossip. Let's go then. Hmm. There are still quite a few people out in front of the church. Have they already heard about what happened at the clinic? Maybe this was a bad idea. Put yourself together, Gerda. They don't know what happened. They don't know you were there. But even if they... Yeah, I just need to find a pastor. I don't know how easy that is. Or it's now. What is that? Oh my, no, past grave. If Papa's parents could see the country now. Whoa. So I knew that. My father's parents were born in Germany. They died in Denmark. And they never moved towns. What country will Sunderland belong to just 10 years from now? I don't have candles, unfortunately. But I still can if I found a candle. More, more, and more farce grave. Mom's parents. What would they say about all this? Mom always said a grandma could make could take a, could make a cake out of anything. I bet these rations would have stopped by her by one bit. So maybe it's gonna be my mother that is gonna give me the honey cake recipe, right? Maybe later. I bet. I don't know. No candles, but oh, this is important. So, no, no, let's go first to other less important things. Where there's the, the exclamation point, it's kind of like story goes forward, no turning back. Where there isn't the, the exclamation points, it's like 
you can go freely and talk and examine. Nothing will happen to the story. So let's do that. Charlotte. Her eyes are closed as if in prayer. She has a name. I wonder if it's a character. Charlotte. What are you doing? Oh, oh, Gerda. I think I, I knew her, right? I think I knew her. Oh yeah, in the in the office. Never mind. Ho ho, Gerda! They're saying that somebody broke into the clinic. Oh shit, they know. How terrible. Are you alright? I'm fine. Oh, I can't believe the luck you are having these days. Let's hope they find the culprit soon. <laughs> oh shit. Let's hope not, because I, I'm one of them. Because I was not alone, okay? But I'm one of them. What are you doing? Paying my respects to the fallen. She smiles sadly to Oscar. I'm sorry about your brother. Thank you, Gerda. I know he did the right thing by volunteering to, to join the fight, but... It still hurts to know that I, it might have all been for nothing. And now we don't even have a body to bury and mourn properly. That's why I'm paying tribute here. It's a nice gesture. I'm glad you think so. They're just candles, but it's something. She trails off and her eyes become clouded with melancholy. Easy, okay. Are you sure you're alright? Yes! Did it! Could have been wrong, okay? Because easy doesn't mean like it's gonna happen. It means that it's easier that it's gonna happen, but it can even not happen. I... Sometimes I can help but wonder if it was worth it. I've done everything Mama and Papa ha have asked for me. And yet, they never looked at me the same way they did him. It wasn't until I became secretary to the criminal inspector that they finally seemed to see me at all. But then we received the news that Oscar had gone missing. And all they could talk about was his heroic sacrifice. It made me so angry. I'm sorry, that was a terribly selfish thing for me to say. Please Gerda, just forget I said anything at all. Now I really must be on my way. It was nice seeing you again, dear cousin. Okay, candles. One of them has been lit. The candle that Charlotte put here flutters gently in the wind. Take two and lit candles. Fuck that. They are unlit. A memorial to the Danish and German soldiers who died as conscripts for German army in World War I. Wow. A monument to the people will we lost in the last war. Fighting for German side. Wow. Danish soldier in World War I. During the First World War, Sonderland was still a part of Germany. This meant that the Danes living in the region were conscripted into the German army and forced to fight for a country that they did not consider their own. In fact, many hoped that the Germans would lose their war and, and that Sonderland might be returned to Denmark in the aftermath. A total of 30,000 men from the region were sent into battle. Around two-thirds of these are presumed to have been part of the Danish population and roughly 6,000 of these men died in the war. Damn. That's really sad. Like, 6,000 is a lot. By the way, before we continue... Now I can place candles where I want. I wonder what that does, but I have them. Let's do that. this, right? Place a candle on the grave. Light the candle. And here too. I want to do this. Okay. I wonder if that did something. Well, Alright. I guess I only lost matches and things for maybe nothing. Well, I hope not for nothing. Bicycles, a tangle of bicycles. Okay. 
How the tires look worn down. Never mind. Oh, hold car. It looks like he's trying to mount his bike. That's probably what it is. But is he still drunk? It's disgraceful, is what it is. Did you see that Nazi girl over there? Put the candles on the monument of our falling heroes. She might as well lift her skirts and piss all over it. What? Let's go then. I stole those candles. Oh shit. Something's gonna happen. Can hear people talking inside. Let's open that. Maybe there's the pastor in here. Sondery list kefir board. Cakes of all shapes and sizes like scattered across the table. Wow, in a place like this where nobody can even eat. It, it, it truly is impressive what the woman of this town can come up with despite the strict rationing. Holy shit. Sondering kefir board. A well-loved tradition in the region. Sonder, Sonderisk kefir board is the concept of bringing a lot of cakes to the shared table. The tradition was popularized in the years following the German victory over the region in 1874, as the Danish found a way that, that they were not allowed to gather to, for political meetings, but, where, but there was no rule against gathering in order to eat cake and drink coffee. A true cafe board is spread of 21 cakes with a minimum of 7 kinds of soft and 7 kinds of hard cakes. Okay. Mrs. Iverson. Let's talk to her. And did you see Vestergaard's daughter waiting outside? Apparently, she's waiting to see that German lieutenant of hers. In front of a church full of Danes? These young ones really have no sense. Oh, Gerda. You poor dear. I don't mean you. Please don't worry. Okay. Oh, everyone is enjoying the cake so much. Especially him. He keeps up like that. We'll run out soon. Much too soon. Should we stop in? No, no. Let him hit. The poor man seems so stressed out of the late. Indeed. One can't help but wonder why. Why? Huh? Maybe I know why. And I, I want to talk to him later. And I want to progress, like, if I have to choose to talk, first one him, then uh, the lady there. Frau Sommerfeld, her smile is filled with warmth. It makes me long for simpler times. Let's go. Gerda! God, goodness, are you alright? We heard that somebody broke into the doctor's clinic last night. That poor old man. I'm, I'm surprised to see you care. Well, of course I care. He might not like us Germans very much, but that doesn't mean I wish the man, the man any harm. How was the sermon? Oh, marvelous. Our pastor really has a way with words, and he has been kind enough to continue his sermons both in Danish and German. Wow. Okay. If I go this way, there's gonna be more things to interact, right? I guess. Back there? Oh, I think I can't. Or I can. No, there not. But this way I can. There's things to explore here, you know. Okay, there I can't. Never mind. That's it. Let's go then. A little secret there, for example, would have been cool. If you ask me. Now, let's go there, because I want to talk to him. I wonder... Uh, his name, please remember, 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 Torben. Let's go. He's holding a plate with an abundance of cakes stacked on top. Let's talk to Torben. Maybe we can get a piece of cake too. Who knows? Car careful there, Torben. Oh, <laughs> he splutters and coughs for a moment. What happened to Torben? <clears throat> Sorry, Gerda. 
didn't see you there. Oh, how are you? There are still crumbs in his beard. Yeah, this beard is like crumb saver. I can't stop staring at them. Mention the crumbs. Yeah. You've uh, got a little something there. Oh, by the devil. Sorry about that. I uh, heard about what happened to Anders. That poor kid. I never thought... Look, if there's anything I can do for you, you just let me know. Thank you. Here. Why uh, Why don't you have a piece? He awkwardly extends the plate of cakes towards me. Sure, thanks. Yes, one foot. These are rough times. We should take what little we can get, especially at the, that dinner tonight. Though I'm surprised the factory job didn't sell Mr. Vestergaard on the whole thing. Why would it? Damage like that ain't exactly a drop in the bucket, even for that old profiteer. And they'll need someone like me to clear all that the rubble. Finally some good luck. Of course that's going to have to wait a day or two. Inside three is possible. I've never known Vestergaard to take this time with things. Okay. Not up to him. The Germans have taken a special interest. Got their own crews moving things around before the rest of us getting get to cleaning. Well, his factory does make good for Germans, doesn't it? Nah, this is more than that. The old fox must have something else going on. Whoa, Vestergaard German deals. Vestergaard has some kind of arrangement with the German military, but not sure what. So this is kind of like the secret. Wait a second. I don't have Vestergaard, right? It's him, I think. I think it's him. It's just the one that I don't have. So, I don't have Vestergaard? Yeah, because I didn't go to the factory, but I choose to go to the market. Remember that that obligated choice or one or another. And that's why I don't have him. But I have one of his secrets already. Nice. We will read that later then. But now if you don't mind. These cakes aren't going to eat themselves. Torben. Did you just stuff a cake into your jacket? Mm, what? Well, maybe just one. Not for me, of course. For some friends who... Uh, can't exactly come out right now. You know the type. Wow, Torben told me that they are, st they are still cleaning up the factory, but Enter Way has opened up. Okay. This was interested. interesting talk, like, thank you Torben, really nice of you. Let's go then. This way, right, for the, the lady. Whoa, I, I can go in the church too. Oh, niece is here. Well, okay, let's see this first. Some books, well worn and well used. One of the books is lying directly on the ground. Put it back, yeah, absolutely. As I leave the book, I notice something being scribbled on the inside of the cover. The bind, they bind us hand and mouth, but they cannot bind spirit. Brave words, I guess. Yeah. It's time. More people started believing them and took a stand. I put the book back. There we go. Safe and snug. Men binder of Spa Mont Go Oghand. What is that? Wow, it's a fact. The song the song, it's a song, so Men Binder of Spa Mont Go I don't know if I read it right, whatever. The song men bind their host pamund go hand, og hand, they bind us by mouth and hand, was very popular ballad during the occupation years. It was written in 1940 for a revenue with the original title being Dead Gelder Craig or Og Kaligrid. It's about war and love. 
As the original text was clearly anti-fascist in its sentiments, the occupation forced the songwriter to censor it. Even in its censored form, however, it still managed to contain a message about freedom and resisting the German occupiers. If I only could zoom in these things, those are really cool, like, look at all the notes and everything, can I see it bigger? No! Yeah, there are some little things here and there that this game could have been doing better, like, these documents, bigger, photos and everything, plus the fact that the last thing that I write on a fucking diary, at the end of each chapter, I can't read that entirely, because simply I can't go to the diary, and when I go back, it disappeared, like, Fuck! I want to read that! But never mind. Those are just little things that need to be maybe changed, but it's okay. Oh shit! Fuck! I, I missed that! Right. But about the calf board. Which brings me to my next point. Oh no. Looks like Jago is busy talking the ears off some of the townspeople. And there seems to be a bit of a huewe. Perhaps I should try to come back later, after I talk to some of the other people here. Thank God, I wanted to talk to other people, and I don't want to miss nothing. So let's start with him. Nis. He wears a confident stance, eyes gleaming with something dangerous. Morning, Mrs. Larson. It, this is trouble, because he, he knows... I don't know. Making a bit of time for God, huh? Oh, leave her alone, Nis. What? I'm chatting. Just a bit of banter, huh? As long as it doesn't cost me anything. Now, now. We're in a church. Here, at least, I am a honest man. Don't mind him. Will you be coming to Vestergaard Banquet tonight? Well, it seems like everyone is. Half the town. That's gonna be a mess. If something happened there. I'd guess. The old man had the special order quite a few goodies. Mm. Must be another nice profit for you. Now, do you ever switch off? Can't afford to. Too much competition these days. These big city boys from Copenhagen aren't making my life easy. They're starting to set up in the town market too, huh? And I'm sure... Talking about them loudly in an echoing church is the perfect way to get a leg up. Meanwhile, our latest guests are exactly those little ch chicks, are they? How Sophia? Huh, how should she be? Scared, of course. Thought that little bear is keeping her busy. Not like those two residents, birds. They won't stop arguing about some old farm north of town, near the river bend. She wants to go, he doesn't, she does, back and forth, all day. Never knew that Peter would be so timid. It's like he and your Anders switched places. Hmm. He's certainly been busy lately. Oh, trust me, dear. A busy man is better than a dull one. Keeps things lively. I wonder you're not married, sister. You want to talk. Where exactly is the line of woman at your door? Well, that's true. The inner keeper gave me an update on how the residence is doing at the inn. She mentioned that Livia is eager to pay a visit to, to a farm up north. Because she has the paper, maybe there's something there and she knows why. And she doesn't want to tell to Peter. But Peter maybe has understood something. And since he is the snitch. And he doesn't want things to happen. He simply doesn't want to go. He's not timid. Someone that shoot people for nothing. Almost. Now it's timid. Like I said. I have this in my mind. Peter is the snitch. And I'm not gonna remove this from my head. Until the end of the fucking game. Until... I know that Peter is, n the Peter is not, for sure. And now I'm not certain. And I think, going a little bit against him, I'm not doing so bad. Okay then. Nice. Let's go then, to the woman outside. And well, then we can talk, maybe, to Pastor Jacob.
Whoa, the woman outside, my best friend, Margaret. She's scribbling in her notebook. Her fingers are blue from the cold. Margaret? Oh, Gerda! She snaps the notebook shut and turns to me with a worried look. I'm so sorry, I... Where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you, but you weren't at home. I heard about handlers. And now people are saying that somebody broke into the clinic last night? Is that true? Are you alright? I'm fine. Just a bit shaken. Are you sure? Yeah. I clear my throat, eager to change the subject. What about you? Margit's heron. Oh, I don't have it. Why are you standing out in the cold? Oh, I'm waiting for Wolfgang. We're going to have lunch together. He said he would pick me up in his car after the service, but huh, it's a little late. Hmm. Are you sure this is a good idea? Meeting a German officer so near the church full of Danes? Well, surely they must be used to it by now. Your cousin visits the church too, and well, she works at the Gestapo. I'm sorry, Gerda, I didn't mean to. I suppose you're right. Wolfgang is just an officer. He's not like them. Oh, you know what? Come to our party tonight. My father will be there. I'm sure if you if you just talk with him, he'll be able to help with Anders. That's true! And I did all that shit already! Well, at least I talked to Anders before. Do you really think so? Of course. He's not without influence in this town. And the Germans certainly owe him a few favors given how accommodating he's been. Yeah, everything for Anders, you know, my line of doing this like me and Anders against the world. That could prove useful, the power of love, you know. He hasn't been courting their favor for nothing. And with the war going the way it is, I'm not sure they can afford to lose too many friends. At any rate, I think it might be worthwhile for you to attend. It'll be a very big social event. Indeed, it seems like the whole town will be there. Well. You know my father. Not even war and occupation can defeat him for throwing the party of, of the year. It's his money, I guess. He could throw it around a bit more consecutively, I suppose. We hear the sound of a car driving up the road. Oh, I hear that. It's him! Oh, he's here! And so is Reinhardt. Oh, fuck. Him and Reinhardt together? I don't like this. Did he tell anyone about what happened? Oh, shit. Frau and Margit. Oh, and Frau, Larsen as well. You must forgive me being late. I had to finish patrolling the perimeter of the factory with some of my men. We must ensure that these saboteurs cannot endanger production again. <sighs> Brothers in arms, huh? He has started doing regular patrols alongside his subordinates. Okay, nice. Fro Larsen, I heard that someone broke into the clinic of yours. Rest assured that the Wehrmacht is doing everything in its power to prevent incidents like this from happening in the future. Fro and Margit, would you do me the honor of walking with me for a while? Uh, of course, but... She looks at me up. Apologetically. Are you going to be alright? It's fine. Go ahead. Come visit me at the house later if you can. We can talk more then. I met Margaret by the road. She told me to visit her later. And I will do it because it means that maybe we can arrange something with Wolfgang and you know and Hander. Okay, I can't wait to talk to him now, like his face scrunches into a contemptuous frown as he takes a puff of cigarettes. I hope he doesn't tell nothing to everyone. 
Can't believe I have to follow this dumb pup around town all day. Oh, Frau Larsen, so we meet again. Have you come to seek a solution from the big man upstairs? I'm afraid you'll find heaven quite empty these days. Did you tell anyone? Pardon? Oh, you mean about the little unfortunate incident we had last night? Of course not. I always protect the identities of my associates, as I trust them to do the same. He gives me a meaningful glance. How can you be so calm? Years of experience. Or maybe because he's stoned always smoking? And a little help from my friends. He pots the pocket of his coat longly. Was it worth it? Of course. I think it worked out rather well in the end for both of us. Would I have preferred a calmer outcome? Of course. All that noise and the doctor seeing my face, it's bad for business. Forget business. All of this is bad for everything. The quieter the better. Forget business, people got hurt. Don't let that this nice little church fool you, Frau Larsen. People are constantly getting hurt. Better them than us. And if you want your dear imprisoned husband to hurt a little less, come see me at the market this afternoon. Okay, this is taking the, the hand now. I don't want this to be too much, okay? Let's keep this profitable partnership going. I kind of want to trash him and see what Wolfgang has to say. But, we'll, we'll see. No, no. I don't want to deal with him too much. I did already. What else do you want? Reynard wanted me to show up at the market square later that afternoon. I think Margate is a better cho choice in this case. Oh, look at the pastor. He's going away. Hey, come on. Don't go away. I need to talk to you first. He looks eager to speak with me. Oh, yeah. And I can wait to speak with him. Gerda, my child. I've heard the news. Poor, poor Harald. They say he's recovering, but what a shock it must have been. He's stealing into his home in the dead of night. Surely, that request I made of you has nothing to do with this dreadful business. No, no, do not answer, my child. Of course it cannot have. I declare it cannot. Now. Let us speak of other matters. You look like you have a question for me. Yes, but perhaps we could speak some, somewhere more private? Why? Of course. Follow me. I will. Is here more private? Is either sparkling with conspiracy? Okay, is this, if this is more private, okay. <laughs> Not so much more private. I would have preferred maybe in the church, but whatever. Even if the echo there, whatever. What's on your mind? Please tell me everything you know about Mr. Vestergaard. Mr. Vestergaard? But why? He's a powerful man with connections. He might be able to help Anders. I have to try and convince him. Ha! Huh, I'm afraid I don't know much more than yourself, child. What? The banquet tonight will be a treasure trove of information, but you must not attend empty-handed, my dear. I'm not a gossip like you, I'm not spy. The more we know, the better. Precisely, and Mr. Vestergaard should be your first point of interest. I suggest you go around town and see what gossip you can uncover about that old profiteer. And the same, and then share it with me, of course. Not sure that's the best idea. Maybe it's better to keep all this information more... private? Well, I suppose that's prudent. Oh, before you go, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Our friend from the south is eager to find a way to Sweden. Could you stop by the inn and see if there's a way to help? I would attempt it myself, but I fear my presence there will be too conspicuous. I'll think about it. There's already so much I need to learn for Anders' sake. Indeed, 
It's not an easy time. Good luck, child. I look forward to hearing what you learned this evening. Jacob suggested that I find information that I could use when speaking to, and I can't read this. I can't. The game says no, and I lost that. Looking at the congregation, every time I couldn't help but see our little towns fraught past. The effects of changing hands between nations lasting for generations. The gravestones at the church, including my family's, attested to this history. In better times, our differences and the injustices of the past were forgotten over Sunday cake. But now, they smoldered just below the surface, ready to combust. Hmm. Okay. Both Germans and Danes were just trying to live their lives, and I hoped that they could stop the differences from driving the, dividing them. What this town needed after the war was a good cake to smooth things over, one so decadent that any arguments would dissolve along with the icing. The scars of our history were still too fresh to ignore. The town will be divided for a long time to come. Number one I want to choose. Both Germans and Danes were just trying to live their lives, and I hope that they could stop their differences from dividing them. Best thing. Oh, some compassion. Maybe I need that. The game says whenever you enter the map screen, and I know that. Sunday, February 4, 1945, 11 a.m. Oh, oh, different point of interest, huh? Well, right interesting. Now, oh, shit. I Wrong button, thank God. Nothing happened. I was saying, next episode, of course. So let's go to the main menu. Let me change the camera real quick in the meantime. And, uh, well, another nice episode. Thank God they still don't know about it. But the doctor, I think, will tell. But yeah, for now, they don't know. And that's good. Peter knows. The Nazi seems like he will. The Nazi will tell to no one, I think. Unless. Oh, unless. I didn't do what he wants, but fuck him. Even I can say what he did to the criminal inspector or Wolfgang or whatever. So I can, he kinda got me, but I got him. So with the Nazi, I think I'm good. Peter, I don't know. I hope I'm good. I hope that my mistrust about him, it's fake, it's something in my mind, but it's really to get trusted. He's a real friend of my Anders, he does things for Anders too, and at the same time he protects me, even what after what happened. I hope the doctor, for some reason, don't say nothing, and I'm kinda good, because they don't know about me, and I hope they don't at the end, but for now. Let's end this episode right here, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we see you all in the next episode of Gerda, a flame in winter. Bye. This is good. Really good. I love this game. Fantastic.